welcome back to Prince in the Kitchen. Today is just a simple recipe with some, as you can see here, I have some the good old aloe vera. So I will be making some aloe vera water. Put it in the fridge, something to cleanse your blood. So I'm first, I'm gonna start off first by cutting out that little bottom here, this little bottom here. And then I cut off the maca part, you know, maca, this little sticky part here. I could let it remain, but I choose to cut it all off. And I'm going to slice them and put them in the. I'm not gonna, I could do it like this. If I was doing it with some orange juice, I would just use the gel part. But I'm not using the gel, I'm using everything, the skin, the gel and everything because I want it to cleanse the blood. I'm going to have it like a drink. Every day I can drink some until it's um, completely finished. So this is a great cleanser of the system, cleanse the blood. You make you go to the bathroom regular and that's what you want, you know. Eating all of these stuff and we're not cleansing out our system is not good for us. So today I will be normally I just slice the aloe vera in and, and um put it into the um, water bottle and drink it like that. But today I choose to blend it. Blend it and um, have it as a cleanser of the blood. I'm gonna use two use another if I did have lemon, I would just squeeze a lemon on in it. That also helps for burning the fat in the tummy. But it's good like that. Anything that makes you go to the bathroom regular, it's very good. So we did have these aloe vera, you know, we have to wash them because they're always out there in the garden. So we have to pick them and wash them. So I'm cutting it up here and I'm gonna use some purify water I use the water from the Brita you know the jug yes yeah man and don't worry about the bitterness or it tastes bad it's good for you because sometimes the blood just get thick up and um, I'm not a doctor still but you know we're good now my granny used to use, you know, that's, and then you can use all this aloe vera and um, rub on your skin, rub on your face, rub if you have a little scratch or so, it's really a good plant. And I'm going to blend this thing guys, I'm not going to strain it, I'm just going to throw it in a jug and just drink it, not straining it today. So I'm using the water from this. Nice little simple little recipe, you know, take no time. A portion of time with as I as I can drink it up and yonder. Clean out the blood. Clean out the off the cover of this blender here now because it just come right up on the top so I have to be careful you can stir it out in the jug like that it's all green green juice aloe vera it's all aloe vera here we go guys yay so we're gonna have this drink it like water so a little test run here guys I'm gonna go 
to about uh, four ounces into the glass and just have it eh? just have it All is missing now with some lemon. It's not the best of taste, but I know it is. Um, it's not the best of taste. Why is this doing something there? It's not the best of taste, but it's um very good for your body. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water in it to just get the blender clean, and I can pour it in the the, the jug as well. This is my aloe vera water. We'll be drinking it in the morning and in the evening and the remainder of aloe vera plants. I will use it in use it if in my hair and then we use it on my skin as well. I'm not gonna waste none of my aloe vera. It's it's all green and nice and natural good for you cleanse your blood and it's also I heard it's good for the eyesight so guys I will be having aloe vera water all week this week thanks for watching guys Queens in the kitchen please do remember like subscribe and share and you can try your aloe vera water as well you can even use a gel pot with some orange juice gel blend it and I have have it in the morning as well or you can um use it just like how i did with everything the skin and everything i didn't waste no part of the aloe vera thank you